Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and today we're going to take a quick look at Epic Store Mod Support. It is apparently officially a thing. As of yesterday, maybe? I don't know. I didn't notice it yesterday, but I don't think I played a game in, the st in Epic yesterday. So this is important to us specifically because of MechWarrior. So if you're interested, and uh, by the way, Riverboat Sam, how you doing today, man? Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how you get to mods for MechWarrior um, within the Epic Store. We've got two ways. Um, the first is just go to your library, uh, click on the three little dots there, just like you would if you wanted to do anything else. And then you can come down here and you can click on Explore Mods. This is going to take you to all the mods that are available at the moment. There's 12 of them. Um, let's go ahead. Now, if you have mods in your game right now and it has not updated yet, it deleted my mod file. Well, it cleared it out. It emptied it. So this update wiped out the mods that I had saved already in the game. So make sure you make a backup of that mod directory <laughs> before you let the game update um, or they're going to be gone. You'll have to reinstall. Not that that's a not that's the problem. I'm sure you can continue to throw mods into the mod directory just like you were before. Um, just know that now that it's uh, official, it wiped mine out. My mod directory was empty when I went into to make a backup before before filming this video. So make sure you do that. Now, um, what I would like to look at and what we'll probably do a video maybe tomorrow or Saturday for is Mech Commander. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to click this one right here. We'll take a look at it. Um, this is makes Mech, um, Mech Warrior top down RTS style, right? Um, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, if you're interested in seeing playthrough before I get my video up, check NGNG. Um, he's involved with them heavily and uh, did a couple videos and a podcast, I believe, um, which is also on YouTube. So technically three videos as far as that goes, if you find them on YouTube, um, about, about Mech Commander. Um, I've watched one of them so far, the first video. Uh, but if you're interested in that, you can see that that's there. You can get a quick look at it. It's gonna tell you who created it, published, all that sort of good stuff, the game beta release all the normal stuff, including some good follow stuff for them, which is pretty cool. I like that, actually. That's nice. And all we do is, well, we're going to give it a thumbs up no matter what. Um, it's got more likes than installs, interestingly enough. Um, I'm not sure how those people know they like it, but how do I know I like it? Because I watched, you know, a couple hours of footage of it already. Um, and now it shows as installed. So in theory, we should be able to go into our um, game directory. Um, Epic, MechWarrior, MechWarrior, Mods. Oh, where does it put them then? I'm not sure where it puts them. Put them in packs? No. Interesting. It says installed, but I don't know where it's going to put it. So I might have to do a little bit more research on that. Um, we'll get into the game to verify that that is in fact where it is. Now, we come back here to mods, you can see we do have a couple other options. You can click here and go to the modding toolkit. Um, remember, they do make the modding toolkit available for download as well. Um, but you can also submit your mod right here. Um, and this is where you would go to do that. Um, it's going to tell you about the mod editor. Um, and all the links on that. But if you're interested in submitting your own mod for MechWarrior 5, this is where you would do that. Now, the other way to get to all this stuff is to just go ahead and go to the store and we will go to Mech, uh, MechWarrior 5. And you can see right here for the store as well, it also shows mods up there and same thing. Browse mods will get you in there, show you everything that's available. So now we've, we've in theory installed this. So let's go ahead and minimize it. Um, Oh, it's actually downloading now. Is it downloading? We might be here a little while. <laughs> so we got 19, 19 gigabits to download. I don't know if this is just the update um, or if this happens to be the, um, the mod. God, if it's 19 gigs of mod, that's insane but not honestly terribly unexpected um so you know what i'm gonna let this happen here in the background i'm gonna pause the recording and we will be back in you know about 18 and a half gig and we'll kind of see where things look like at that point maybe then we will be able to see it within the mods directory 
Um, this may be it downloading at the moment. So we will find out. I'll be right back. Un momento, por favor. All right, it just finished. So let's go ahead and go back to the library really fast. Take a look what we got going on. So we should see... Well, it's 43 gig total, so that might have been just the... Just the mod itself. That's interesting. We'll have to take a... Like, see, we'll see if we can see it. And I'll have to go back. Maybe I can go back and check the video and see what the version was, because you can see we're at 1.0.253 there, and see if that's what we were at before. All right. Um, so we'll just have to kind of see how that goes. But let me get into here, and we will check to see if that mod now shows up within the mods. Um, epic. Epic mods. So it went from mods to epic mods, and there it is. All right. Nice. So that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the game, and we'll uh, see if we what we see within the mod menu itself. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right. So we can go into mods here, and you can see Mech Commander Mercenaries is there. We just hit select like we would, like we did in the past. Uh, and you can see it does show this here. So we have a mod file, and we can open up. This is the, um, hmm. So we do have an epic mods and a mods. So we can continue to manually mod it as well, which is pretty nice. Let me lower the volume down. It's going to be a bit much for me. Um, and when we can refresh the list and open all sets. So we would just say, OK, and that will apply it. And then we would need to log out. Now, I was asked as well um, about DLCs. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this real fast. Um, just give you a quick idea of what's coming. Um, this is dated J June 24th, so it's about a month old now. Um, but there is a new um, DLC coming. Um, Heroes of the Inner Sphere is what it's called. New mechs and a biome preview if you're interested in that. Um, it was just kind of a short video. There was no real audio or anything. It just shows the mechs in, in some of the new different um, biomes. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, that all happened. Uh, I thought there was more on it. Um, news. This is probably what I'm looking for. Yep, this is what I'm looking for. So you can see right here, they say they've been working on the DLC pack over the last three months or so. This came out in April, so it's been a little bit longer since then. Um, it is going to give us a career mode, enhanced career mode DLC. Um, they said in the first half, um, that's been pushed back a little ways. We'll find out when exactly. Um, but, you know, COVID being what COVID is, a lot of things have been delayed dramatically. So we'll just have to see. I, I think they still expect it this year, um, but what the actual final date is, I don't know. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I want to say they were saying... I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to throw a date out there. I, I have something in my head, but I, I don't remember where I got it or or if it if it's correct or not. So, but anyway, so you can you have this enhanced career mode, and you can have some different career paths. So you can see war dog to treasure hunter. So different types of goals, win goals, end results that you're looking for um, that you can do. So there'll be some new war zones, new quests, new missions. Um, uh, we'll tell the story of seven new heroes and their unique mechs. Hunt the heroes. That's pretty cool. Um, on top of, you know, the various variants and that sort of stuff. So new career mode, new uh, five career paths, um, including blueprints for quirking mechs. That's pretty cool. Um, 61 total war zone, so another 18. Um, and obviously spread out a little bit so it's less less linear, as they're saying here. So it's not just you kind of follow a circle around the around the inner sphere. Um, Some new mechs, you can see the Corsair Vulcan Charger, Hatamoto Chi, Dervish Champion, and Marauder 2. Um, a bunch of variants for existing stuff. We get some new equipment you can see there, some new weapons, um, new procedural mission type. Uh, that sounds really cool. Featuring artillery strike. Yeah, that looks awesome. Um, so that is coming. Uh, when exactly? I, we'll see it when we see it. Um, you know, the, the modding for Epic, I believe Epic initially when, when Mercenaries was launched, um, 
they were already talking about it. I want to say they expected to have it early in the year, like end of January, early February was their initial date. And clearly COVID wasn't the issue of that. Although, well, maybe, I mean, it's been around since at least November, so who knows, but um, they were still working in the studio. Um, and it took till now to get it, but um, you know, it's here now um, with very little, very little fanfare or advanced warning. So anyway, I hope that helps explain what's going on with the new modding. Um, and what's coming on with the future. And of course, obviously, we've also got the Steam launch, which will again uh, into September-ish, um, maybe a little bit late as well due to everything. All right, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.